Me and Betty are just getting ready for a nice long hike. We're gonna do something that's about nine and a half miles. Um, but it's really long, but it's not like gonna be super hard. Um, so I think we'll be okay. I'm just now grabbing all the food. Can't wait to eat this. I just need to make a smoothie for breakfast and then I think we're ready to go. But he's very excited. Are you saying you go for a hike? Yes. <laughs> wow, we just arrived at the parking lot. Um, and there's absolutely no one here. And it's cold. <laughs> But he doesn't want to leave the car. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna change my sweat. Just gonna change my sweatshirt, and then we're gonna hit the path. I'm so excited! I'm feeling really glad that I over-prepared for this hike. Well, I wouldn't say I came over-prepared, but I definitely came more prepared than I usually do <laughs> because it's such a long one. Um, and I don't even know if we're gonna do the whole thing. I'm not gonna be upset if we don't because nine and a half miles is a long way, especially for Buddy. It is a little bit creepy to be out here and feel totally alone. I think Buddy's a little bit scared. <laughs> it's okay. I forgot to mention too that this is the first weekend so far this year that actually feels like fall. Like, I think right now it's 60 degrees out here which I love. And it's the reason I wanted to get out and do a long hike, honestly. But I think like the cool weather and the cloudiness and the wind is definitely adding to the creepy vibes. <laughs> it's not like a warm summer's day, which is what we've been used to for the last few months. feeling a little less freaked out. <laughs> I think that this always happens for me though in the early stages of a hike, especially one I've never done. Um, and the drive in too, just like it felt like we we're 
it feels like we're really just like far from home because <laughs> we came to such a rural part of the area but it's also really exciting I mean we're only an hour and a half less than an hour and a half away from our home but it just feels so different and that's what it's all about <laughs> oh sorry buddy <laughs> You would have last seen us at Table Mountain Lower View, which is not the summit. <clears throat> so we still, I think we're about a mile, a little less than a mile away from the summit of Table. And our original plan was to go from Table to Pika Moose. Um, but I'm not really sure if we're gonna do the whole thing today. It's definitely never about how far or how much elevation gain. Oh, look at this. So cool. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how scared of spiders I am. I think anything that touches me is a spider. Anyways, if we don't make it all the way to Pekin Moose, I won't be upset at all. It was a big goal to begin with. And it was never the goal. It was just a plan. Loose plan. Hiking for me is always just about immersing myself in nature and forgetting about literally everything else. <laughs> and paying attention to the way that my body feels throughout. And of course, Buddy too. The second he looks like he's not having a good time, that's when I know that we're done. <laughs> Which isn't very often at all, but very important nonetheless. So, Yeah, we'll see how we feel when we go to the summit of Table. I'm not even sure if the view is going to be anything grand, but that doesn't matter. <sighs> We're so close to a Table now, but I just wanted to point out I love when the, tra the trees change from the broadleaf to <sighs> coniferous, like pines and stuff. I just feel like that's always such a happy indicator of how far we've really come. Plus it's just cool looking. You're a champion! There's definitely no way we're doing peek moose and table today. I know that we could, but I don't think we should. <laughs> I'm pretty damn tired. I know Buddy is too, if I'm tired. <sighs> Plus I did run three miles yesterday and my right knee is 
actually bothering me a lot. So, you know, probably shouldn't risk anything, risk overdoing it. Can't catch my breath. Oh, this is the view. I just love when it's all pine. It's so spooky. Pine and moss. Wow. Just started to descend back down the mountain. <clears throat> Did not make it to Picamoose, but I'm so glad that we decided to not go to Picamoose because although it's only, I think it's only an extra mile and a half, um, my knee is like really bothering me. So that sucks. Um, I'm not sure why it wasn't hurting at all when I was running yesterday or on the way up really until the end so but I feel like it's probably just something I can stretch out at home but obviously I don't want to go don't want to go overboard um, but yeah we're heading back down now. I'm still kind of shocked that we didn't see a single human yet on the trail, but I'm so glad. <laughs> Back in the car now. Oh, I am really, really tired. <laughs> but it was such a good hike. It's been such a good hike. I have no complaints whatsoever. We did see one other human at some point. Um, shortly after I said that, actually. But it was fine. It was a very short interaction, thankfully. <laughs> We're almost back at the car, and it's so funny to be walking through the place where we started when I was feeling a little bit like spooked. It's just so different now. <laughs> I don't know. It just makes me think like how much magic there is just in like the progression of the day, you know? Because we started pretty early and it was like gloomy. Now it's midday and it's sunny and warm. <sighs> I just love nature. <laughs> Oh yeah.
This is the best feeling in the world. Wow. <laughs> oh, it really feels amazing to be sitting down. That was a long and pretty difficult hike. How you doing, buddy? Thank God we've got tons of snacks so I can snack on the drive home. But it was beautiful and so amazing and I wouldn't have changed anything. <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts of any um, big like walk we do. I just love sitting in the warm car and eating some snacks and drinking water before you hit the road. I find it very comforting.